friends welcome to my channel and coaching center so today i'm going to explain you guys 10th standard sociology first chapter and this is the small medium so let's so the first chapter the rise of nationalism in europe part 2 to so last to explain the, about the high age of revolution and unification in germany and uh, italy i explain next to britain here i will just so in britain the arrangement of the country state of the country state was not consequence of sudden change there was a sudden change unrest it was a consequence of a long drought process so it was a long drought process consequence so there was no britain country pre- uh, preceding the 98 uh, preceding the 18th century there was no uh, there was no british country so the essential characteristics of general population so because of the general population britain th- thought they have to make their country but and uh, as the english country relentlessly developed in rich they be, as they developed and they become rich significant influence and it could broaden its impact over alternate so they made impact over alternate countries of this uh, of thailand and the english parliament uh, that uh, seized the control from uh, control of the from the government in uh, 1688 towards uh, this uh, finish of a secured secured conflict was the instrument through which a country state with england at, a, at its focus come to be produced uh, england came afterwards after that the act of association in 1707 amongst england and uh, scotland that uh, brought the development of the joined together kingdom of uh, great britain implied as a result the england could force it uh, its effect on Sc- scotland so england forced their uh, effect of this uh, act on the scotland after that ireland endured a comparative dis- uh, destiny they gave a good destiny it was a nation profoundly separated uh, it was nation that was separated by catholics and uh, protestants the uh, the england help uh, the protestants of ireland and uh, forced their, uh, they give the strength to them o- over catholic nation they gave the uh, strength for protestants next catholic uh, rebel against the british uh, strength were several smoothed so catholics again they rebelled against british after a fizzled revolt Walton and he and his joined its men who in 1795 Ireland was personally consolidated into kingdom in 1801 it made as kingdom so another english country was produced through the spread of over willing years so by the spread of english culture another english country was made england the english country was made so visualizing the nation nationalism and imperialism so from 18th century the artists started to repeat uh, represent the na- na- nation as a female from uh, 18th century the artist uh, made na- started to represent the nature as a female and in uh, france the nation was represented as a christian ma- mariana to connect to connect the people with the nation to connect the people with the nation they represented the france as a Christian Mariana and German nation had allegorically uh, had allegory of Germania where a crown of oak leaves to which show heroism so like by this things they made 18th century started after that after this all happened next nationalism and imperialism so in the uh, 19th century nationalism groups had a uh, notion of uh, dissatisfaction so nationalism groups had some dissatisfaction between each other so that was used by european powerful countries and a large area of balkan a large area of balkan was controlled by the ottoman empire that i said in first and uh, albania greece bosnia serbia macedonia and many other countries were collectively turned as they all are said as the balkan they all are said as balkan 
and after the distinct after the distinct uh, after disintegration of fundamental after suppose fundamental the conditions of balkan was very explosive as the ideas of romantic nationalism was spread so uh, the conditions were very much strict the fundamental condition people were started to oppose balkan area so the so people were started to oppose it the but open ottoman turks try to resolve it but they were not successful the slave nation start to spread the history to create their sense belonging to get rid from the imperialism they started after the russia germany england and uh, austria hungary both supreme power were also involved in this uh, power of balkan then rivalry of both supreme power of balkan led to the series of wars uh, which could, which caused first world war that caused the first world war after that the anti imperialism movement was started by various colonial countries of europe against imperial domain domain dominance and the movement was inspired by the collective national unity it was inspired which changed the political shape of the europe and the idea of national states of the uh, europe so this was your chapter the uh, europe so the uh, rise of nationalism in europe and here they have given some glossary and important dates so 1797 the important date was napoleon war begins in 1789 french revolution was started in 1804 napoleon code the code of mayor napoleon and 1814 was napoleon napoleonic war fail of napoleon so the war was failed and 1815 when congress took vienna congress to press and 1821 independence movement of greek uh, against ottoman empire was started and uh, 1846 uh, uprising of uh, greater poland and 1850 1861 unification of italy 1863 was happened for polish nation revolt and 1866 to 1871 unification of ottoman bismarck unification of led by ottoman von bismarck unification of ottoman von bismarck that is germany unification after the 1869 autonomy established in hungary so because of hungary autonomy was established and 1905 the slave nation nationals gathered forces of in the hungary and ottoman empire they gathered forces so this was your chapter the rise of nationalism in europe so the friends i think you understand this chapter so like the video comment on the video to my channel because it's better for more video i will explain the next topic in my next video till then take care have a nice day bye my friend